Using a crystal pendulum is one of the most important tools that healers and spiritual people use because it gives us a direct contact and connection to your spirit guides and to your angels and your loved ones. But it's with using a pendulum, you can even use, if you want to, anything that swings, quite obviously, and that's why it's called a pendulum. And you can even use, say, keys, if you like, on a, on a chain, or maybe something a little bit heavier than that. But most of us will use uh, one like this, and this is a citrine one that comes on a chain. Now, don't uh, wrap around the chain around your finger, because that can block the energy. What you do is you pinch it between your thumb and your forefinger. If you've got any chain dangling, you just scoop that up into the palm of your hand and let it dangle. Now, if you've not used a pendulum before, all you need to do is just say out loud, or if you don't want anybody to hear you, do it in your mind. Just say, please, can you show us a yes? And mine swings forwards and back. And because we've been brought up politely, we say thank you. And then you are asked, can you please show us a no? And it just happens, my no is left and right. Have you noticed my hand? I'm trying my best not to move it. Um, so this is why it's quite good if you do it yourself, because if you get somebody else to do it and you're asking questions, you're going to say, oh, you know, you're making it move and that's a trick and all that. And I think it's really personal and a lovely way for you to connect to your angels and spirit guides. So you ask for a yes, and that goes forwards and back with mine. And then it asks to say, can you please show us a no? That's thank you. Now, some people will find it will go the other way. So you might even go left and right for a yes and forwards and back for a no. That's fine. Everybody has a different swing. Now, it doesn't matter what crystal you use or even like one of my students tried it with a um, elastic band and a paper clip and it still worked. You know, you can use anything that, that can give a swing at the end. So there's another one here, look. So if I ask, can you please show me a yes? Thank you. Can you please show, ooh, what's my hands move? I'm trying not to move my hand. But if you do this yourself, you'll know you're not moving it. Thank you. And a swing in a circle, I quite like that movement if you are clearing yourself of negative energy, if you're grounding yourself, protecting yourself in a circle, because a circle to me is like a vortex, and especially if any of you do crystal healing, like I'm a crystal healer and teacher, that a circle also pulls out energy and brings in energy. So if your um, spirit guides and angels start to do a swing in a circle, say for instance, for a yes or a no, politely ask them, can I do a straight forward movement, either forwards and back or left and right for a yes and no. It's just if ever in the future you want to then, you know, remove any negative energy, bring in good energy, you're going to do crystal healing in the future. It's useful on the onset, in the beginning, if you to have a direct swing, in either one way or the other, rather than being in a circle. So I hope you found this helpful and chat to you soon.